look, Mermaid Man's magic conch. Follow the seahorse. Thanks for helping me get through that, buddy. Hey, wanna be in a TV show? Animal actors can become pretty famous, you know. <laughs> Great! Now I just have to teach you how to talk. <laughs> Ooh, this place sure was tough to get to. I barely made it out of the kelp forest. Well, glad you made it out here, stranger. Yeah, no telling what could have happened to you in that there forest. Thanks. What are you guys doing way out here? Well, we're out here at this dig site hoping to find a priceless artifact. That's right. Somewhere yonder out here is a real sought-after item. How do you know some special artifact thingy is around here? Well, see, the Flying Dutchman himself has come here looking for this prize. I saw his ship anchored not but a moment's walk from this very spot. You know, it has to be something special if he's here a looking for it. Do you have any idea where to look for it? Rumors say that the Flying Dutchman had a map marking its exact location, but he buried it somewhere a long time ago. Yeah, I reckon if we had that mail, we could find it in a jiffy. Yeah, but we need a compass to use with the map too, though. Well, we already got a compass. We do? Where? It's right there in the tent, you chowder head. Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! I always knew I could do it. X marks the spot. Eureka! Let's go after it. We don't. If any of us deserve this priceless item, it's you. Wahoo! I think it's even pirate boot scented. Hmm. This ominous green glowing rope doesn't seem dangerous at all. I wonder where it goes. If 
you learn how to breathe fire, you'd be scarier. All right, that's enough. What do you want, kid? I don't have all eternity to answer your questions. Well, maybe I do, but, but that doesn't mean I will. What are you doing out here on the deck? Well, it's the second Saturday of the month, which means today I have to swab the deck. The problem is I can't find my mop anywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm also supposed to scare away anyone that gets near the ship. Something tells me you're not going to get a raise anytime soon. Thanks, kid. You really know how to kick a ghost when he's down. How can I get into the captain's quarters? Well, I have the key, but the captain is busy right now and doesn't want to be disturbed. Besides, if he finds out that I haven't swabbed the deck yet, he'll probably send my soul into the dark abyss. That doesn't sound like fun at all. You have no idea. What was that? Oh, no! Hey, where are you going? Ah! Ah! It's a mutiny! All hands on deck! Man your stations! I'll head over to the ectoplasmic containment flinger. Some old sock? 
Why I should roast you where you stand? Me dine in sock is the only thing that keeps me foot from getting cold when I sit down to eat. I've grown hungry for so long. Sorry if I seem a little sour, laddie, but I've been starving for quite a while. Are you really gonna make me a member of your crew for all eternity? Uh, I'm afraid it's part of me ghostly contract. No, no, I don't think I'm cut out to be a pirate. Well, I guess I'll just have to send you into the dark abyss. Ah! All right, all right. If you get out of here in the next five seconds, I won't do anything for him. Shoot! Is this your special dining sock? Shiver me timbers and hoist me sails! It's me dining suck! I can finally eat again! Hooray! In fact, I'm so hungry that I think I'll start with you! What? Ah! Hey, relax, laddie. Just ghost pirate humor. You've returned my dining suck, and for that, I owe you something. I will grant ye three wishes, of which you may ask me for anything your heart desires. Wow, three wishes! I know just what I'll ask for. I'm ready to use my three wishes. Well, let's have them then. I haven't got all day. Huh, I really wish you wouldn't rush me. Fine, take all the time you need. Two wishes left. No, oh, no. I wish I'd learned to keep my big mouth shut. I thought you'd never ask. You got one wish left. No, oh, barnacles! I wish that you would take a part on the new Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show. Arr, the only thing worse than starving is television. So be it. Your wish has been granted. Wonder what this button does. What have you done this time, you old coot? Mermaid Man! That's it! This time, I'm calling the police! Quick, Mermaid Man! We need to get out of here to work out what's going on! This all looks evil. Evil? Quick, Barnacle Boy, to the Mermaid! Don't give away our secret hideout! Oh, yes. Uh, good point, Barnacle Boy. To the, um, to the secret marmalade! Away! To the invisible Boltmobile! Oh, wait, Mermaid Man! I have some powder spray to help us find the invisible Boltmobile! No time for that, I sense. Evil! It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. They've destroyed Shady Shoals and they're trying to escape. All units proceed with necessary speed. I got him. Over. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, are you ready for the death of God? Reroll and work 
I was nowhere near my utility belt at the time. I was just trying to flush the toilet, I tell ya. You think that's bad? Try actually committing some exceptional crimes only to get arrested for jaywalking. <laughs> this whole building theft scheme could never have been cooked up by those two idiots. <laughs> I concur. In fact, it seems like the sneaky hermit is up to his old tricks again. He certainly is a crafty one. I've never heard of Sneaky Hermit. What does he do? Well, basically, he steals buildings. <laughs> well, Man Ray, <laughs> it appears that there has been a clerical error, and you are free to go. <laughs> And it appears, Dirty Bubble, that you are too! Come now, there's crime to be had! Ah ha ha! Um... Oh... Uh, evil? Evil! To the invisible boatmobile! We have to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail at the Shady Shoals! Away! Well... Please, my baby, and Bobby Bill have been gone for the building there. And the real job is the murder. I am not content to merely hold a rest home upon my back. I want more. A whole city belongs with me. A whole country. The whole world. We've come to welcome you to the neighborhood. Ah, yes, the neighborhood of evil. And if there's anything we can do to help you settle in, feel free to... Take this creature and go set up a distraction for the fools who would seek to stop me. That should keep them gone just long enough. No clues there, Mermaid Man! Well spotted, Barnacle Boy. Looks like we have to talk to the only man in town who knows everyone in Bikini Bottom inside and out. The X-Ray Doctor? Yes. I mean, no. I'm talking about Grubbs the Chef. A simple man, perhaps, but sometimes it is only when one who sees life simply that one can perceive its true meaning. Wow. That's really deep, Mermaid Man. Huh? What's deep? Do I know you? Yeah, I've heard of him. What have you heard? I've heard that he's, uh, really sneaky. Well, that's groundbreaking information. I have one more question, Grubs. How's my order of meatloaf coming along? <laughs> That Moron Ray and the Dopey Bubble are occupied, it's time to add a bit more evil to my home. This task should impress our new neighbor. <laughs> yes, I see many wonderful years of villainy ahead. Stand down, fools! This ingenious fry cooking device has rendered our victim helpless. Yes, take one step closer, and it's fried damsel in distress. What? Oh, you fool! You have to save the damsel! Do I have to spell everything out for you? Dirty Bubble, come and let us retire to my lair, where we shall imbibe the rich nectar of the steamed Terrazzo Monticello and feast on a delectable selection of profiteroles. Huh? Ugh, coffee and donuts. Let's go get some coffee and donuts. Why do I even bother talking to you? I'll never know. It looks like she is set to be floured, battered, lightly seasoned, and then cooked until she's crispy golden brown with a dash of salt. Don't worry, little lady. We'll get you out of there. Turns out the sneaky hermit sent us here to keep us occupied while he stole our secret lairs. That really is sneaky. I propose a temporary truce to rid us of this sneaky foe. 
So, Lean Green Marine the Biologist, what can you tell us about the Sneaky Hermit's possible weakness? <laughs> what? Speak English or I will crush your brain into a lumpy mass with which I could spread across my morning toast. I love toast. <laughs> Perfect! To the final showdown! Away! It sees that sneaky dad and dopey star, which I now is stealing my new stature. Your reign of terror and your reign of sneakiness has come to an end. Well, well. Do you truly believe your little pathetic alliance is enough to stop me? Our combined might will spell your ultimate doom, sneaky one. Ha ha ha! You've run out of places to run and hide, sneaky hermit. Enough! Now my true power shall be unleashed in all its sneaky glory. You'll pay for that! Ha! Ah, you better move for a baby seal. Time for the secret weapon! Yes, now while he's occupied. No! 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 How could you know? Ah! Ah! Choo! My only witness! Ah! Choo! Man, right. What now? Um... You fought well, do-gooders. But now we must bid you adieu. Come, dirty bubble. <laughs> and let our evil be set free upon the world once again. Yes! Let us wash this clean taste from our mouths. Well, I guess everything is back to normal again. Yep. Mm. Are you gonna pull your pants up, Mermaid Man? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. No! Please! Don't let her take me back there! Please! Take me to the cops! Uh, to prison! To uh, a sci-fi convention! Just please! Not there! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, get yourselves back to Shady Shoals now! Yes, ma'am. Ah!